what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about nine mega cap stocks in this video but before we get started please hit that thumbs up button that is greatly appreciated and that really helps out with YouTube algorithm and if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas my swing trade ideas three days of live trading in my discord definitely check out the patreon I'll leave a link down below in the description and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and now let's get right into it guys so not to toot my own horn and I just want to give you guys a hint and that is why these videos are coming out and if you are subscribed to my channel and especially a patreon member even last night I told my patreon members that market looks bullish we just need that confirmation breakout and we got that today and these uh, analysis that I do here on YouTube are totally unbiased you know I don't have a bull bias I do not have a bear bias I just follow the trend and I'm a momentum trader so if the market is moving higher I'm going to buy the dip if the market going on a downtrend I'm going to short the market I mean look at this guys this is from weekend reversal what do we got a reversal in the market Tesla rally Monday what do we got a rally on Monday it kind of faded but look at today guys explosion out of that flag massive massive move on Tesla then you got this one yesterday strong resistance and if you go here into details right here inside this video you'll hear me talking about you know this resistance right here and if that breaks you're going to see spy going up to 450 and this is exactly what we got today now another one big move is coming and this is exactly what we got today guys a massive massive move to the upside and everything exploded today in the market so that is why you know subscribing and staying with these uh, unbiased analysis right here on my channel I do appreciate you guys but always follow the trend and here's my X account and if you're on there definitely give me a follow and I do post a lot of my charts daily weekly expected moves like this one right here and now if you look at my screen spy actually trading above upper level for this week so you know that is something to watch going into tomorrow and also all the other stocks are trading above upper level of this uh weekly expected move uh also i do post uh all my videos here so if you're on there definitely give me a follow and that really uh helps out to help you any way i can on Tesla stock is up 7.69%. Now a lot of people I see now chasing here, but you know, I don't want to take more time showing you guys, you know, how many times right here, three days I called out Tesla to buy, buy, buy right here and hold if you want to uh, swing trade, a uh, longer term swing trade here on Tesla, you can make a lot of money now. You know, I see one thing with uh, retail uh, investors traders when they see something coming down they run for the door they don't want it they don't want to be part of it and this is where I bought 300 shares I sold uh, 250 shares at uh, 240 for a nice profit and today I sold my uh, 50 shares of Tesla that I uh, I had as a runner and I sold those right here right before closing for a nice profit now would I be buying and chasing Tesla here no even if this thing gets up to uh, I would say 300 that is just me guys I like to buy low and on the way up I slowly sell my position and I get out and get my profit I do not like to chase anything now this is a bullish breakout here on Tesla we talked about it yesterday and I even had calls yesterday 245 and unfortunately because it was trading below white line 20 is mean I closed it yesterday before closing but you know that is how it works out sometime you don't get to uh, get you know all the plays uh, on your favor so Tesla here massive rally today now if you're buying here there is not much upside left in the short term Tesla already on a massive move and I talked about it yesterday about this level 257 and I know a lot of people use EMAs and you know other moving averages but 
SMAs are the best thing here you can use. And as you can see on my screen, you know, a uh, full measured move here on Tesla from this bull flag was 252, 253. Now it's above that. Now, exactly like I said last night, 257 where Tesla closed. And now above that, 262 to 265 possible. And that is it in the short term. Now, if there is a pullback, watch out for the support down here around 252. And if that gives up, we might be going all the way back down to 240 to retest white line 20 SMA, which I don't think it's going to happen this week. Tesla might be pushing higher back up to 262 or coming down to 252 before heading higher back up to 262. So Tesla here, guys, that is why when the stock is trading low and everyone running for the door, that is when you buy a stock. Not here. Not because you saw a big bullish engulfing candle today and everyone going for Tesla. You don't do that because, yes, you got lucky or maybe you will get lucky uh, buying something here. And, you know, you'll probably make some money. But imagine how much more money you could have made buying here. And whenever you get a discount like this we got here on Tesla and you ignore it, you don't buy it, guess what? You end up chasing on top and then you lose all the money that you're supposed to make here on the stock. So I hope that makes some sense going into tomorrow on Tesla. Above 257, a clear path up to 262, 265. Below 257, 252, and then watch out for a move down to uh, 240 once again. On Apple, stock is up 2.18%. Now, let me put this on the side back and if you guys are new to the channel, please go back and watch some of my uh, videos when Apple stock was down here from, uh, I would say, 178 to 170, uh, 172, all the way down here. Uh, all the videos I made, I said the same thing, that do not short this stock into this hole, especially when RSI down here close to 2730. And I also said that, you know, I know you're going to come at me and say, hey, uh, RSI can stay oversold for a long time. Not that long for Apple stock. Look at this. Now it's at 54, guys. So Apple, you want to buy when the stock is down. You don't want to go and chase here, just like Tesla. Yes, we do have a, a big bullish engulfing candle. And now I also talked about it yesterday in details in my video that Around 178 and blue line was down here around 178 to 179. Now it's at 180. So now we do have strong support at 180. And the videos I made before when Apple was below 180, what I said, Apple breaks 180. Just make sure Apple holds 180 and that would open the door to 183. And look at what we got today. A breakout above 183. Now, as long as Apple holds 183 now, that opens the door all the way up to 186.53 to even the gap on top, 190.69. On a pullback, 183, big support. And if that gives up, watch out down here around 180 white line 20 SMA. On Microsoft, it's up 1.46%, and we got a massive explosion on Microsoft. Now, unfortunately, and this happens to everyone, I couldn't catch any big move today here in the market. So the only thing I got was uh, some snow calls 155, uh, and those were uh, really nice uh, to go and uh, actually uh, get some profit uh, out of snow today because that thing ran with Microsoft. Now, if you look at my screen, again, hitting 321 right here, holding 13 SMA as a support went back up. And now what we got, guys, it's above 320, 352. And it looks like the next stop will be up here at 333 red line 50 SMA. And if that breaks, 339 possible on Microsoft. But like Google stock, look at this. Upper Bollinger Band coming down. It's at uh, 331. 
and the lower one moving higher also. So we're about to see a big move on Microsoft also. And we got one on Google stock today, uh, the same thing. On a pullback, you wanna watch support on Microsoft around 320, 352, 322 right here, and then 316.10. To the upside, this thing can run all the way up to uh, 333 and then uh, we will see if this thing can actually break red line for PSMA that will clear uh, an easy path up to uh, 339 but until this Bollinger Band expands to the upside you're not going to see that on Microsoft on Google stock it's up 2.81 percent now Google this is the only thing that I actually uh, was shorting today and uh, ended up getting some profit uh, especially the second time shorted at uh, exactly above 137. I think it was for only a minute or two, it was above 137 and that is where I got some puts. And then this thing dumped all the way down to uh, 134, went back up and now holding that previous high 135 as a support. So, you know, that was a quick 30% uh, profit on Google. And that is the only good trade uh, that I got today besides my, uh, you know, swing on snow. So Google stock now holding that previous high 135 as a support and that's going to be key level to watch. But if that gives up, we do have support at 132 and then down here around 130. Now Google stock and I said it last night also that, you know, we got all these gaps and we're going to see a big move on Google stock and it looks like we got that today. But so far, I also said that if that plays out to the upside, watch this Bollinger Band to expand higher and then you're going to see continuation to the upside. And as you can see on my screen, and that is why I showed at Google today for a day trade because it was trading well above upper Bollinger Band. Even right now, it's at 134 and the stock trading at 135 plus. So Google guys, 135 can hold, Bollinger Band can expand all the way up to 140. That's going to be the next stop on Google stock. On Amazon stock, it's up 1.33% and Amazon now trading just below 135. Soon as Amazon takes out 135, you're going to see a push up to 138 and then even higher to 143, 146. As a support on Amazon, you want to watch Blue Line 5 SMA, 133.73. And this is exactly where Amazon was holding today. And just below that, we do have support at 132, and then the gap below, just under 130. On Meta, it's up 2.66%, and I talked about it yesterday, that Meta holding 290. As soon as we get that breakout above 13 SMA on this daily chart around 293, you're going to see Meta all the way up to 298 to even 300, and this is exactly what we got. Now, Meta, yes, it's breaking out of this downtrend, but it's not completely out of the woods yet. Once we get that breakout above 300, it's gone. Downtrend here on Meta will end, and this thing will end up at 316 plus. That's gonna be uh, where Meta going above 300. Now also keep that in mind, so far it's under 298 and 300, and we have white line 20 SMA actually, just about to cross red line 50 SMA. So that is not a bullish signal on Meta. We need to see price action above these two moving averages right here, and that is above 300. On a pullback, we do have support all the way down here at around 293, 290, and if that gives up, a quick flush back down to 276 possible on Meta. But as of right now, the only pullback I can see on Meta, possibly down to 293. But if this thing tomorrow breaks, I mean, it's already running after hour. 300, you're going to see a big, big move all the way up to 316 on Meta. On AMD stock, it's up 3.23%. And how many times AMD came down to uh, close to 100? About three times. When slightly under 300 and now, if you look at my screen, we did get that breakout here on this daily chart above 104, 105, and looks like now it's about to take out 106.45.
13 SMA on this daily chart. And if that happens, 108 possible. So this big dump off all the way down to 100. And I talked about it before that this is gonna be a big level on AMD. And if that gives up, you're going to see more downside. And it looks like after this uh, big pullback on AMD, uh, gave away what, $33 from top, a lot of buyers stepping in at 100 and buying the dip. But this one here, we do not have a bull trend. So, you know, keep an eye on 108. And if that breaks, then you could see some more upside, possibly going back up to fill this gap at 115.49. But if this thing gets rejected again from 108, you're going to see AMD going back down. And in that case, watch out for the support down here, 104 to 105, and then flat 100. On Netflix, it's up 2.85% now. When everybody is looking for the same thing, like we know that this one, we got a head and shoulder, uh, triple Q, same thing, spy, we got a head and shoulder pattern that we just uh, broke out of today. So when everybody is looking at the same thing, guess what? Market makers, they're looking at a different thing. It's gonna go the opposite way. So this is exactly what's happening in the market. You know, people are thinking uh, market will come down and especially guys, I mean those crash videos, crash, super crash, all that crap. And if you go back and watch any one of my videos, I never mentioned a crash anywhere because there is no crash. Why would market crash? We just came out of a COVID crash. It was big in uh, last year, we had a big bear market uh, It lasted over a year. So why would market just crash every time? Yes, we can get a correction and that is not a crash. So, you know, just ignore all that noise, you know, that crash thing, because uh, imagine you were just brave enough to buy something when SPY was down, when Tesla was down, when uh, Apple was down. And if you did that, you know, kudos to you. But a lot of people uh, just thought that, you know, market will crash and this is it. Uh, beginning of a bear market and uh, small caps are doing really bad. So that's it, market is gone. That is not the way to trade. You gotta watch and follow price action and let price action do all the talking, not because you have a bear bias or a bull bias. You cannot just make those predictions in the market. So on Netflix, head and shoulder looks like not going to play out. And there's also another reason why. Look at this, on this weekly chart, and this is exactly uh, what I showed you guys uh, on my weekend analysis on uh, mega cap that is getting a bounce off of this uh, 20 SMA on this weekly chart and that is around 400 and that is why so far it's holding now on this daily chart looks like almost taking out 430 right now and soon as 430 breaks on Netflix red line 50 SMA 443 to 450 possible to the downside, 430 will be a support level here to watch tomorrow. Looks like it's trading above 430. And below that, we do have support down here, 422 to 419, all the way down here, which is aligned with this blue line, 5 SMA on this daily chart. And then a quick flush down to 406 again possible. But looks like the trend is changing on Netflix and we could see a move up too. 443 or even higher on nvidia stock it's up four percent and first of all kudos to you n1 one of my patreon member uh congratulations dude that is a massive day playing nvidia and looking at this uh bullish hammer candle and going and uh swinging calls i mean yes it was kind of risky but you made it out with uh over thirteen thousand dollars on the day so that is a massive trade dude keep it up now on nvidia guys expected moves upper level was 483 we went past that today getting above that previous all-time high and now it's holding almost at a new all-time high not above this high 502.66 and i think nvidia can hold 482 this thing definitely hitting 500. Only on a pullback, you want to watch 482 on Nvidia. And only if that gives up, you're going to see a drop down to 472, blue line 5 SMA, and below that, 
450 possible on Nvidia. And look at this insane move in just a matter of 24 hours. Yesterday, producing this uh, bullish hammer candle coming down to 448, and now it's up to 490. So that is Nvidia for you. And if you're shorting, make sure you buy and you have some uh, time on your puts. Otherwise, those puts on Nvidia are going to get toasted. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching.